Okay guys, well, the flash is on for some reason, but I don't know why, uh, it doesn't matter. Have a good day, thank you for watching. So here's the deal, as you can see the hammer is back. It's on fire. All right, we're safe, nothing, fire, nothing. So the problem is, I'm gonna push on the sear, or the disconnector right there. Now you can see the hammer goes forward pull the trigger, good to go. What's happened is the disconnector actually disconnected. <laughs> no, uh, it, it broke right at the front of it. So it's it's leaning too far forward and, and when I let the trigger go, it's not allowing the disconnector to kind of uh, push back. So I'm gonna see if I can fix this, fix this in the field. And uh, if I can't, it's gonna be one of those things where I'm gonna advise you not to by an Anderson trigger group, if this is the kind of stuff that's gonna happen, if this is your defense rifle or whatever, that would that would put you out of the game. We'll find out. We're gonna try to do this in the field with just some basic tools like the ends of bullets and see if we can get this thing back up and running. So as you can see, I popped the, the hammer pin right there. I'm gonna try to push it all the way through with a stick or something. Nature is your friend. I pushed it out with this stick here. You just gotta re relieve pressure by pushing down on, on the hammer. Now that I got the hammer removed, you can see right here, that's the chunk of a disconnector. And there's what broke off. Looks like a heat treating issue. Broke off right there in the end. We'll send that into Anderson and they'll replace it. So there's a good reason why not to have anti-rotation pins because if you don't have a hex Hex tool, how are you going to do this in the field? How are you going to do this if you have no tools? You can do this operation with sticks. So, there's one good argument for uh, not having anti-rotation pins, even though I like them too. So I'm doing something interesting here. Since I have no disconnector, let's see if this thing will fire in somewhat normal fashion without a disconnector. Here we go. Yeah, I'm going to load up five rounds. I don't think you'll even get past one personally without having to manually cycle it and then you're going to end up losing a round, put it back in kind of thing. So this would be all right if, if you want to turn your, your rifle into a single shot. Let's see what happens. Oh. Dead trigger. And there goes the live round. So. And a malfunction because of this cack barrel. <sighs> worst come to worst, you could literally have no magazine, load it in one by one, then you got yourself a single shot that at least kicks out the case. You could lock it open, load another one in. and to have it malfunction like that. <laughs> but that's because of my setup currently. Let's say you have one round in your magazine. Just leave your magazine in your gun, right? Cycle it. And, okay, your bolt locks back, right? This makes it to where you don't have to pull the charging handle back or anything. Just literally set a round in there, close the bolt, And you got yourself a little auto-loading single-shot AR. So, if this is all you had, and you need to do that, that work out in the field, you could at least have a single-shot rifle still. One that does the majority of the work for you. All you have to do is um, load in the round and close the bolt. That's saying something. It's pretty cool. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the future video.